Good morning, students. Today's topic is relationship of education with political system. What is the relationship between the education and political system? Education as a social system is a unique system and interlinked with other systems in influence them and gets influenced by them. Many social and political scientists believe that education performing an important political function along with its various other functions. When it is performing an important political function, it always remains a major consideration of politics. And next is we will discuss this topic's objectives. First objectives is discuss the role of politics in education. And next explain the relationship between politics and education. And next, enumerate the role of various components of both the systems in deciding the goal of education. Describe the process of policy formulation for setting goals in education. And Lastly is discuss what should ideally be the relationship between polity and education. These are the objectives of this topic. And next, first of all, we know about education. Etymology, education is the term education came from Latin word educare. Educare and educator, which means to learn, to know, and to lead out. Therefore, education means to learn, to know, and to lead out the internal hidden talent or potential of a child learner. This type of meaning of education is the gradual process which brings positive changes in human life and behavior. We can also define education as a process of acquiring knowledge through study or imparting the knowledge by way of instructions or some other practical procedure. This is the meaning of education and the next is definitions of education. First is process of receiving or giving systematic instruction, especially at a school or university. And next is the delivery of knowledge, skills, and information from teachers to students. This is the definitions. And what is about the definition is, what is the education? Education brings a natural and lasting change in an individual's reasoning 
and ability to achieve the targeted goal. It facilitates us to Im investigate of our own consideration and thoughts and makes it ready to express it in various space shapes education is the main thing that encourages us to distinguish between right or wrong because in the absence of education we can't do what we need or we can we can't achieve our goal strength for straightforwardly we can say education is the passage to progress it is additionally the way to our faith as achievements can only be comp compilized when individuals have information aptitudes and frame of mind in this way education resembles a medium through which we can associate with various individuals and offer our thoughts to tackle issues and do in winness we first need to gain proficiency with some essential abilities we require learning and abilities to wind up increasingly imaginative so education is fundamentally learning of abilities and ideas that can make us increasingly innovative and issues soul slower education is it is to pick up the capacity to develop and take care of issues in order to achieve their lawful motives these are the education in this topic and next ali did you know that there's a narrow and broader meaning or concept of education and next is what is the narrow meaning concept of education narrow meaning education is education is being provided under the prime premises of schools colleges and universities bookish knowledge this narrow meaning is the education is not to uh, provide in everywhere in education being provided under the prime premise of schools college and universities and next is the broader meaning of concept this concept is education is universal and long life process it starts from the cradle and end to the grave these two types of education in the education what a one type of education is the formal education these educations like formal education or formal learning usually take place in the premises of the school where a person may learn basic academic or trade skills small children often attend a nursery or kindergarten but often formal education beings 
in elementary school and continuous with secondary school. Post-secondary education on higher education is usually at a college or university which may grant an academic degree. It is associated with the specific or a stage and is provided under a certain set of rules and regulations. The formal education is given by specially qualified teachers. They are supposed to be efficient in the art of instruction. It also observes strict discipline. The student and the teacher both are aware of the facts and engage themselves in the process of education. This education is the um, narrow-minded uh, education we call, but the this education is the formal education. And the example of formal education like schools, education, learning in the classroom, and school grading, certification, college and university degrees. Planned education of different subjects having a proper syllabus acquired by attending the institution. These are the example of uh, formal education and the uh, narrow meaning of education. And in the broad meaning of education, like informal education, we know informal education may be a parent teaching a child how to prepare a meal or ride a bicycle. Pupil can also get an informal education by reading many books from a library or educational websites. Informal education is when you are not studying in a school and do not use any particular learning method. And this type of education, concise efforts are not involved. It is either pre-planned or deliberated. It may be learned at some mark place, hotel, or at home. Unlike formal education, informal education is not imparted by an institution such as a school or college. Informal education is not given according to any fixed timetable. There is no set curriculum required. Informal education consists of experiences and actually living in the family or community. Or these examples are teaching teaching the child some basics such as numeric characters, someone learning his, her mother tongue, a spontaneous type of learning. If a person is standing in a bank, learns about opening and maintaining the account at the bank from someone. These the examples in formal education. And the next is politics. Politics came from the Latin word politicus, meaning anything of the state or belonging to the state. It's the science of government which has to do with the regulation, protection, and government of a nation of a state. 
Next is the politics is a way of generating a more controlled society. And next, the fun fact about teachers and politicians. This is the fact about the teacher and politician. And many of the points are the equal model, model are teachers and the politician are also model, creative, Teachers are creative and politics are politicians are also creative and social label. Social label is the uh, very important um, in a teacher uh, favor and the political favor also. Last is common goal, both teacher and politician is common goal also and the and why we why do we need to study politics politics makes the students aware of their rights and respective duties as citizens classes of rights natural rights constitutional rights statutory rights and these are the rights we studies in politics and the uh, aside from the huge benefits that this course being with it in term of an understanding of events that are happening around us here are our many reasons of study politics. First of all, politics helps you to know your rights. The course has allowed us to see beyond our initial belief that we have no real say in the running of our country. It has truly educated us on a fundamental part of our society and has helped us to understand that if we engage in political processes using the pressure points built into the system then every individual really does have to opportunity to change the world and next point is politics clarifies what you yourself believe and studying the things we have studied has given us the opportunity to discover our own political beliefs and to see in much greater detail the benefits and advantages of the vast array of political ideologies that are present in the world today. Being able to express what you believe actually accurately and consensually is extremely useful and forces you to rely, really look at yourself. And next, next point is politics is living, breathing, breathing subject why politics is living and breathing subject also the in politics textbooks go out to go out of date the date they are published why because 
the political landscape changes every day with new examples appearing constantly in the media. Picking which examples to use in your answers to SC questions is really existing as something that has happened on the day you are taking your A-level exams can appear in your response. And the next is politics helps you to understand our nation's parties. After just one term of the subject, we have learned about democracy and our rights, ideologies, and party politics, policies, the constitution, and parliament with the knowledge gained from the classroom. We have been able to watch events unfold worldwide, have seen our leaders reaction to these events and have come to understand these reactions as demonstration of what we have learned. At the end of this point is politics prepares you for adult life. The world of British politic politics really opens up to teenagers after our 18th birthday with the vote giving us the ability to change our nation and allow the principles we hold dear to thrive. With this in mind, it could easily be said that government and politics is the most applicable subject on offer at any school and is a subject that people should be encouraged to take due to nothing less than the way it prepares you for entering the adult world. And next, we see why political awareness should be enhanced in a school. Most people tend to wonder why it is essential to enhance political awareness in schools. Should you find yourself in a scenario where a debatial ensures regarding the relationship between politics and education. Don't ha hesitate to use Barack Obama as the perfect example. The former US president is reversed as among the greatest leader of the modern age. And his exemplary leadership style remains one of the most spectacular occurrence that many choose to learn from. How he got the most and wide leadership position in the United States should therefore suffice as the best illustration to debunk the need to integrate more sessions that bring politics and education together. And next is 
the rise and rise of Obama. Rise and rise of Obama is that when Obama joined Columbia University, it was his dream to become a political scientist and possibly a further leader, future leader. Detailed, extent, extensive in a 1995 memory, Obama published title Dreams of My Father. Persuably, after honoring his writing skills, he started that he had an interest in politics at a young age and decided to pursue his passion by studying political science and Columbia University. And that the Obama later graduated and joined Harvard as a law student. It was in this university where the where he took politics seriously, becoming its first black president. This scenario indicates that Obama's future did not come paris of mere occurs. Where were it not for the symbolic relationship between education and politics, he would probably not have realized his dream to be America's first black president. In this time, the Unit time, uniting bound between education and politics. As Ford mentioned, there is a uniting bond between education and politics. The primary role of education is to educate through improving a student's reading comprehension and understanding. Picture a world governed an uneducated leader. That does not sound possible, does it? It is essential to the note that being Book smart may not reflect much. Regarding effective leadership, but it does not help. Nonetheless, as one of the several occurrences that are needed to create a great leader, education broadens one's line of thought and enhance collective intellect in general. Obama may have had leadership skills passed down to him from his father, but education shaped him into the respected leader. He still is to date and the united bond between education and politics is the additionally explore to politics at younger age is widely encouraged as it creates a sense of responsibility to those wearing for leadership positions 
as well as those being led for intention being a school president initiate instills a sense of leadership clarifying one's vision through practical experience that can be illustrated through easy writer services just like our current and former president sure being a president in a school does not mean that one automatically becoming becomes a good leader there are several occurrences that result in one being a complete leader through practice and owning one's skills in the process a positive future will def definitely lay ahead additionally those involved in these political occurrences at tender ages age get to learn how administrative systems work and that they too have a voice that can be heard through collective intellect as well and the next one of the purpose of formal education it is to inspire students to take a greater interest of civic responsibility this means teaching them about political issues and encouraging them to take a positive position of those issues these issues are the next is in so doing politics and education become in linked together so it is important to understand and their understand how to affect the other to understand this relationship it's necessary to look at how learning about politics influences the political attitudes of students if these are there are several factor that influence the relationship between political involvement and political involvement in education for instance those with more developed cognitive functioning are more likely to take an interest in politics those students gifted with more advanced verbal skills coupled with the talent for abstract reasoning are often more interested in political issues students with these abilities who additionally have a stronger memory recall typically perform better in school as well and the socio economic status of the student family also plays a factor in their political intelligence 
much like some private schools and more advanced educational opportunities. Politics is usually more accessible to students of wealthier families. This is not a deliberate obstacle, but rather a result of unfortunate circumstances. Students from poorer families just don't have the extra time, the resources to expand on politics. Their concerns become more focused on maintaining employment and providing the basic needs. And finally, this curriculum to which students are exposed will directly affect their interest in political issues. Traditionally, students were expected, expected to memorize dates and facts. This create a system in which dialogues was frowned upon. The students were discouraged from sharing their opinion and this type of curriculum which students are exposed and today a more liberal approach to education helps students explore their own beliefs morals and opinions by offering more opportunities for open discussion. Schools help students become more politically aware. This helps students develop more critical attitudes, which enables a more objective view of issues face, facing society. And next is while it may not be possible to change the social economic background of some students, schools can take a greater effort in helping to better development, cognitive functioning. This will give students the tools they need to critically analyze political issues in the classroom. And they will develop these skills over time and take them out into the world with them by encouraging political involvement. At the, in the classroom, schools can instill a more civic-minded attitude in all young people. And there is the next, what is the relation between, relationship between politics and education? One of the purpose of formal education is to inspire students 
to take a greater interest in civic responsibility. This means teaching them about political issues and encouraging them to take a position on those issues. In so doing, politics and education become linked together. And so it's important to understand how one affects the other. To understand this relationship, it's necessary to look at the how learning about politics influence the political attitudes of students. This type of relationship in first of for continuity, Sheikh population has to be reproductive, otherwise, the group supra system will become existent. And these survival tasks are carried out by social institutions. The, finally, the educational system, the economy, the polity, the health and welfare system, and the religious and moral system. Each of these social institutions is a major area of organized social activities required for social community. Although each of these institutions influence the cognitive and affective maps of all members of a society. And their greatest impact is on the society, younger member, child and youth. Sociologists refer to this preventive process of initiation and conditioning as socialization. The education represents both a struggle for meaning and a struggle over power relations. Education is that terrain where power and politics are given fundamental expressions. These are the relationship between politics and education. At the end of this topic, we will discuss about in this topic, what is education, what is the politics, and what relation between politics and education. And the end of this topic, some references is there. References is help to another, some worth and some totally on the topic of this, is this topic's help and the end of this topic, some MCQ's question is there. First is philosophy asks and answers various questions 
pertaining to the whole field of next physical science education environmental environment sociology what is the answer answer is education and the next question aim of education are relative to first is aim of religion aim of teacher aim of life aim of government an answer of this question is aim of life and next question of this topic is what is development of human polarities in education potentialities in education first individual social aim individual as well as social aim specific aim answer is individual aim and the next question which is the first which is the first school for the child's education family society friend in school answer is family family is the answer of this question and next question is which one of the following comes under the jurisdiction of both the high court and supreme court dispute between the center and state dispute between the state inter supreme court protection of the fundamental rights protection against the violence of constitution answer is the protection of the fundamental rights is the right answer and the next question a pattern of behavior that constitutes is called social problem economic problem political problem and religious problem answer of this question is social problem and next question is density of population is very much related to climate political system environmental study economic condition the answer of this question is climate climate is the right answer of this question and next question is poverty is a social problem economic problem political problem religious problem the poverty is a social problem then social problem is the right answer and next is which is not a type of unemployment seasonal unemployment agricultural unemployment cyclical unemployment political unemployment what is the right answer the right answer is political unemployment and the last question is provides scope for organized crime corporate 
corruption, corruption, unemployment, violence, and terrorism. Right answer is corruption. Corruption provides scope for organized crime. This is the right answer of this question. And the end of this topic, all about or of this topic is that the this is the topic is. And lastly is thank you.